Temperature in Scotland for more than a century has been recorded at Charter Hall in the Borders. Met Office said it had reached 28.6 degrees Celsius earlier today. The previous high was in Murray in the northeast back in 1906 when it was 32.2 degrees. But the hot weather isn't going to last, we're told. There's a warning of heavy rain and flooding across many parts of Scotland for tomorrow. I hope I haven't stolen Chris Fawkes' thunder, pun intended. I'm off. I've got nothing to say, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually, we're, it's not just Scotland that will see the heavy rain. We've got some uh, thunderstorms that are on the way to parts of England, Wales and Northern Ireland as well. Let's take a look at what's been going on. So we've heard just uh, a second ago, Charter Hall's just got the... Uh, High temperature uh, recorded for Scotland of September, but it's not the hottest place. Actually, Heathrow got up to 30 degrees. Parts of uh, northern England have uh, seen temperature of 29. Valley is Ang Anglesey in northwest Wales. They've also been up at 29. So the heat's been pretty widespread today, a bit more widespread than yesterday even. But it's not been everywhere. We've seen some big thunderstorms across the southwest of England. And uh, earlier in the day, they did uh, bring some localised flooding to parts of uh, Devon. The area of low pressure driving those storms in is going to be working its way slowly across the British Isles over the next few days. So we've got a big change in the weather pattern on the way. We're losing the influence of the high pressure, losing those really high temperatures and replacing it with these downpours that have been uh, pestering parts of the southwest uh, through this afternoon. Overnight tonight, then the showers become more extensive. England, Wales, some of them reaching Northern Ireland as well. A few patches of rain for the northwest of Scotland. Otherwise, it stays dry here and it's going to be another warm night for sleeping. Our uh, temperatures still up well into the 20s in a number of towns and cities. And these are the temperatures at 11 o'clock. So those uh, temperatures will be very slow to fall tonight. Tomorrow then, a mild start to the day. You can just see the difference. The showers will be really widespread. Travelling across England, Wales, Northern Ireland, some heavy ones pushing into parts of Scotland as well as we go through the afternoon. Uh, those uh, showers capable of bringing 20 to 40 millimetres of rain in a short space of time. So we could see some localised flooding, but the amount of rain you get is going to vary a lot from place to place. And it's still warm for eastern England, 25 degrees. Otherwise, temperatures generally into the low 20s. Now, looking at the charts for Friday, our area of low pressure is still right over the top of the British Isles, so it stays quite unsettled, still quite cloudy, a few sunny spells around, but there'll be widespread showers and thunderstorms once again. And some of these, again, could cause some localised impacts with some surface water flooding. Temperatures into the low 20s, quite close to average, really, for the time of year. Now, the weekend, there's a lot of uncertainty in the weather forecast. The thing that I'm most confident about is that it's going to start to turn much cooler and fresher during the second half of the weekend, particularly across the northern half of the UK. So temperatures, for example, in Edinburgh, Sunday, just 15 degrees Celsius, but the humidity levels will be down as well, and that will make it feel a little bit more like the early part of autumn. So we're losing this heat, thunderstorms around for the next few days, and then it turns cooler from the north this weekend. That's your weather.